It's Johnny Kerr back in the Chicago Stadium. My guest, the number one draft choice of the Chicago Bulls out of Oklahoma, Stacy King. Stace, uh, you're getting your feet wet a little bit in the NBA, but my golly, how tough that first hoop comes. 0 for 9, and then finally you got one. What did you think when that first ball went through? Well, I didn't really know what I was going to score a basket or not. Uh, I was kind of rushing my shots, and uh, I think I was a little bit tight those first couple of games. And, you know, once I relaxed, things started going my way. Really, the first break you got uh, was not coming off the bench. It was uh, as a starting player. Horace Grant uh, didn't uh, play in the game in Minnesota. They started you, and you had a real fine game. Well, I put a lot of pressure on myself during that, that game when Horace was out. Uh, I wanted to go in there and play well and, and do the job that you know Horace is capable of doing, and so we wouldn't miss a beat. And I played well in that substitution role. You know, uh, Coach Phil Jackson keeps saying uh, you've got the the big size, the physical size. You He likes to see you put your body on the players. What does he mean? Does he want you to push him around down there? Yeah, he wants me to get a little bit more physical than what I'm doing. Um, I'm really going down there just learning right now, and I'm trying to, you know, learn the system while I'm out there. You know, going against guys like Charles Oakley and Carl Malone at that power forward slot, you know, sometimes causes problems with our team because we have matchup problems. But, you know, I just need to get a little bit more physical. Uh, the players are, are getting, they're looking to you a little bit more. They're getting a little more a play off the bench from the rookies. There's always a lot of pressure on, but, you know, you don't carry that pressure by yourself. you got B.J. Armstrong and uh, Jeff Sanders. It's a lot easier when you got three guys uh, to, for them to harp on. Yeah, it is. It's really easy for to have two or three guys come off the bench with me. Uh, Will Purdue is also considered a rookie with us. And, you know, when we go in the game, we just want to go in there and give the bench a lift and, and uh, keep the game pretty close so when the starters get done with that rest, they can come back out and win the game for us. You know, I'll never forget uh, going from high school ball into college ball, college ball into professional ball. And each time I made a step up, there was other guys making that step up. You're an All-American, and you're drafted number one. You come up to the Bulls, and you look around, and you say, by golly, there's a bunch of other All-Americans sitting up there. It's a tough job. It is really tough. I think that you have to come in with your priorities right, and, and you have to be willing to learn. And, and you know, not everything is going to come easy in life. And I think if you just, you know, take your time, good things come to those who wait. Well, he's taking his time here, and things are coming uh, very good to the guys that waited. Phil Jackson has waited for him to come around, and I'll, I'll tell you something. This guy's going to be a big, big plus to the Chicago Bulls before this season is over. My guest has been Stacey King. This is Johnny Kerr. We'll be back with more after this.